Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Barrington and I'm bringing to you from sunny Somerset the 2019-20 PSA Awards. Due to the global crisis and pandemic with coronavirus, the awards have been voted for online by you. And I'm very excited to bring in the first award, which are for shots of the season. This is definitely where I get the most excited with my taglines on Squash TV, but we've got some absolute crackers. We've seen so many blinders throughout the season. It's so hard to, to get down to, to just two, but here are the two shots of the season. Eat it right, so ah! often. Slot it. <laughs> wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am, from El Tayeb. That's got to be in shot of the month, surely. <laughs> that is outrageous. More El Tayeb. Take a bow on that one. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> Sublime stuff from Raneem Awalili. The control needed That's as ridiculous. he takes it off the sidewall, <laughs> dropping <laughs> ball, and oh floats dear. that in there. Well, she, oh! oh. <laughs> C'est parfait! Oh, yes! Excellent! From Le Panthère. Pressure. Oh my God, that's an absolute scandal. That is scandal. Oh, PJ. Five, say three. something. Again, so Selby had to push forward, cover it, and then of course it opens up the space for the cross court. Yeah, it's impressive. Oh, wow. what a <laughs> shot. What a shot, shot of the match so far from Daryl Selby. Great skills, really Five. good in oh, He's got it. <laughs> I don't know how he's getting these balls back. Oh, oh my yeah. goodness me, that's an outrageous <laughs> shot. From Kandra, that has got the crowd going again. Ashling's <laughs> fallen off her seat. That was brilliant stuff. Oh, I've got to see this again. Check that out. I mean, that's the fight all. He's very upright and he's hitting the ball inside out. It's all, <laughs> all against the so-called coaching principles, but he's produced the goods. Huge congratulations to Rafa Kandra and the Panther Camisa, absolutely fantastic shots. Obviously, myself and Peach get very, very excited with the, with the trick shots and the fantastic rallies that go on, but where our hearts really lie is in that brutal encounter, that drawn out, amazing back and forth battle in classic matches. And we have seen so many belters throughout the 2019-20 season. Very excited though to see how you, two, how you guys voted for the two best matches of the 2019-20 season. Cross court Nick, she wasn't impressed, but I tell you the rest of us were. It's a loose ball and though. Mohamed El Shabagi <laughs> goes for it off the left leg. It's a lovely hold, changing of the angle. That's an unbelievable get. Oh, oh my goodness me, that's a brilliant shot. And Shabagi plays it behind himself. It's balanced, but it's behind himself. Look at the way he rolls the racket face over. 
release of adrenaline's going in, and he's looking strong on the ball. He's, oh, he's, he's in the tin, mistake. he's wallop the tin. Shabagi's done it. Shabagi's done it. Ali Farag walloping the tin. Mohamed El Shabagi managing to stave off a fifth game. I don't think he'd have been able to do the fifth game in terms of this quality, but it doesn't matter because he manages to convert 15-13 in the fourth with Ali Farag, a very, very nail-biting ending to it all. Well, Camille Sharma has to almost do what... Oh, oh dear, <laughs> well... You can't do anything with that. Hand out. Stops me in my tracks <laughs> completely. <laughs> that stops everyone in their tracks. Right, up at 188 beats per minute. Yeah, that is a flashback of people used to target the forehand of Gohar so much. Oh, there it perfect. is! Perfect! That's when you want the perfect drive. Huge cry from the French contingent in the crowd. Oh, it was played in very, very cautiously <laughs> by Camisa, but it was just good enough. What a comeback. Amazing. We're going into a tie-break in this fifth. Channel. Each player has one review of it. She's done it. She's done it. Sam's held her nerve. She's closed it out. What a game! Unbelievable stuff. We well, see what it means to the French team. But Camisa, she's an emotional wreck here. Well, that was unbelievable. Moving on, very new for this season, we've created the moment of the season. This is a landmark uh, occasion, bringing in moments that are truly left with us forever. Inspirational moments, history-breaking moments. Uh, selected in this category, you have the return of the French general in TOC back in 2019. The warrior princess, Noor El Shabini, winning that world championship on her birthday back by the pyramids, and also the very, very emotional performance by Tarek Moman to win his first ever World Championships back in Qatar. Here's how you voted. That's a nice shot. Huge result for Camille well, That is a flashback of people used to target the forehand of Gohar so much. Oh, there it perfect. is! Perfect! That's when you want the perfect drive. She's done it! She's done it! Sam's held her nerve, she's closed it out. What a game! Good reaction, Dolly, from Sam. She read it. Camisa, she's done it. She is the winner here for the second time. Well, it had to be incredible to win this category, and it was by Camisa. What an unbelievable run that she produced back in January 2019, beating the world number one, the world number two, and the world number three in one tournament to win that title back in New York. Absolutely awesome. Now that's all the shots, skills and matches and moments out of the way with. Now we've got the real business at hand. It's another new category that's being created. It's the PSA Challenger Tour Players of the Season.
Hello everyone, Leonel Cárdenas from Mexico here. I hope everyone is safe and well. I'm very grateful to receive this award and I'm very happy with all the support that I get from the people who follow my career and we still have many more years to go. Um, quiero agradecer a todas las personas en México, a todos mis amigos de Latinoamérica, en especial a mi familia, coaches, amigos, sponsors, Grupo Gersa Harrow eh, y a los medios de comunicación que me ayudaron a ganar esta nominación. My 2019-20 season has been one of my best seasons. Uh, I have been consistent with my results and I am happy with the titles that I have won, uh, as this will help me to take the next step up. My hopes to the next seasons are to play bigger tournaments. I think I am ready to take the next step up and produce good results also. Uh, thank you everyone again, and now it's time to celebrate this award. Hi everyone, it's Danielle Letourneau. I just want to say a huge thanks to everyone who voted for me and who has supported me this season. I'm especially grateful for my team and the people who have been by my side the whole way, including Omar Azabawi, Kareem Alifathi, Richard Gibney, John Hill, Murray Heber, Dave Paskovich, as well as my sponsors Gearbox, Teuton, and Racket Central but most importantly, my family, who have been with me since day one. Um, this year is full of ups and downs, but I felt that I grew and developed more than I had in any other season. And the results I had at the end of the year, and even including this award, kind of validate the direction I'm going in and make me hungrier than ever to kind of keep working hard. Um, I'm hoping that once season starts up again, um, that I can break into the top 20 next year and, you know, just keep building on the momentum that I have from this one. Thanks again, and I hope everyone's doing well. The Challenger Tour was created to give the younger players and junior rank players a smooth transition and experience to get into the main PSA World Tour. It was created by the PSA and it's been absolutely fantastic. These two particular players really shone through since the last campaign. Next, we name the PSA Spirit of Squash Award. This award has been voted for by the players to recognise one of their own for their outstanding sportsmanship and behaviour during the season, which we you know for all those juniors watching this is very, very important indeed. There's no surprises to me and probably the squash world who the two winners are. Hi everyone, uh, I hope you are all doing good in these uh, tough circumstances. Uh, just wanted to quickly say thank you for uh, voting for me for yet another year, which I actually don't believe. Uh, I would have been sick of me by now winning the award, so I wouldn't have voted for me, but all the more uh, happy to actually win the award again. Uh, thank you so much for all the love and all the support. Uh, yeah, it's been a crazy season for me, a bit uh, up and down in comparison to the season before. But uh, who am I kidding? The season before was was probably my best ever. So uh, yeah, uh, what may have seemed at the time as a as a not consistent season, uh, now that I've had time to reflect, uh, I actually see things clearer, and I I, I see that the competition was fierce this season. Uh, maybe I didn't stand out as the best player of the season, but uh, this this makes it all better for the sport, having uh, seen uh, so many players uh, winning big tournaments, uh, the competition was definitely fierce. So uh, thanks again for all the love, stay safe, stay well and uh, take care. Happy to have won the Spirit of Squash uh, again this year. I mean, I've won it the first time back in 2016, and it felt very special. Uh, and it feels even more special every single time, uh, just to keep uh, getting the trust of my peers. And, uh, and I hope I can keep showcasing uh, our sport the way it should uh, year after year. Yeah, I can uh, say that I'm very happy and proud of the season. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, 
uh, started off with uh, some challenges and obviously came with a, with a bigger challenge uh, mid-season. I think uh, I coped with both uh, situations uh, very well, uh, kept focused, uh, tried as much as possible to get myself out of it and uh, uh, I can look back at the season uh, knowing that I've reached the final of many of the events that I've played, maybe only losing in the semis of one. Uh, this is something I can uh, remember uh, with a lot of pride and hopefully I can uh, uh, keep that momentum for hopefully very soon. Keeping with the spirit of squash theme, we're going to the next award, which is the Services to Squash Award. This award recognises the outstanding contribution of an individual throughout the year and over the ages. And it is a real pleasure. It couldn't come to a nicer person for this year's award. Howard Harding, who uh, former uh, media manager of the PSA and WSF, has dedicated over 30 years of his life promoting the sport, trying to sell the sport outside to other areas and has done an unbelievable job compiling amazing stats that we use on Squash TV and a lot for the media reporters around the world as well at Squash Info, his website. He's sadly retiring this year, he will be missed uh, hugely, but it's an absolute pleasure for me uh, and a personal pleasure as well to dedicate this award to Howard Harding. PSA Foundation, what can I say? I'm just completely blown away by receiving this award. It's amazing to think that this sport that I fell immediately in love with the first time I ever squat, walked onto a squash court is one that I've become so involved with over the years through working at British Opens in the early 80s and then working for PSA and WSF from the, mid, from the late 90s. I'm just so delighted to have been able to make a small contribution to this fantastic sport and as I say, thank you so much, PSA Foundation, for honouring me in this way. I'm extremely proud. Thank you. As we move into award number seven, things are starting to get really, really tasty now. This is a very, very exciting award. It's the PSA Young Player of the Year Award. We've seen some unbelievable breakthroughs, some exceptional performances and scalpings by so many of these young players coming through on the PSA World Tour for both the men and the women. But for me and for the voters, there really were only two players that had it all sewn up. Let's see who they are. Oh my God! That's unbelievable! Oh, she's done it. She's done it. Nadia El Hanani has defied the odds here. Hi everyone, it's Sanya Hamemi. I want to thank everyone who voted for me for the Youngest Player of the Year's award. I'm so honored and it meant a lot to me to win such an award. I also want to thank my coaches, Haysa Maifat, Ahmad Abdelkhali, Sami Farrog, who helped me make uh, loads of improvements and unforgettable achievements throughout the season. I am totally satisfied with the results I've made uh, during this season, mainly for achieving my end of season's goal, which is breaking into the top eight. So uh, winning the Black Bull Open title um, before the tour got suspended helped me complete that goal. I think what made a difference for me this season was the confidence I was gaining after each match, uh, whether I lost it or I won it. Uh, from the beginning of the season, I felt like I've had some great matches and um, some good wins against some of the top eight players, which gave me confidence and belief that I was getting better. Uh, tournament by tournament, I... Um, I was able to see the improvements um, and that gave me a huge boost mentally and physically. Um, again, thank you all for supporting me and see you all next season. There he goes, play. shut it out, he's finished that off brilliantly. He has, we've got a game on our hands. Three games, oh my goodness me, have you seen that shot? Top spin volley both, of course it is. <laughs> Played it. Well, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's played it. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. The big bear hug. It's 
nice to see from the big youngster from Cairo. Hello everyone. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and staying at home. I would like to say today that I have won the Young Player of the Year. I received a message from the PSA. It's something unbelievable for me. I can't describe it till now that I have won the Young Player of the Year. Something unbelievable. So, uh, really, I worked hard for to achieve this title along a lot of uh, no, not a lot of years. I'm only I turned professional from just two years. Um, so uh, it's unbelievable for me, guys, and thank you for voting for me. Uh, and also, I want to thank uh, my uh, my club, Ahli Club, uh, and his fans. His fans will get the votes, all the votes. Uh, really, it's an amazing club, the club of the century. Uh, and the most famous club in the world and also I want to thank my sponsor Rise is Steel uh, for sponsoring me for a lot of time and I hope to continue all the years and also Technifiber and I and um, I must can thank you guys for voting for the Raising World really it's a dream came true Huge congratulations to Mustafa Asal and also Hania El Hamami El Hamami having an unbelievable run uh, that kicked off her very, very top level performances at the Black Ball Open in Cairo and she just went from strength to strength throughout the end of the season from there. And Mustafa herself dazzling with some blisteringly powerful and dynamic performances, looking very sharp in the TOC where he took out the French general and other top players. So hugely exciting prospects in the form of those two young players. Uh, we're now down to the last two awards. It gives, my, it gives me real pleasure now to move into the Player of the Year. We start with the Women's Award. During the women's season, we saw five different women capture major titles on the PSA World Tour. And there were some brutal matches, five setters, physical matches, unbelievable uh, quality of squash. The women's game has gone from strength to strength. I said it time and time again and uh, I can't wait to reveal who's this season's winner. Here it is. Nora El Shabini, who wins the Windy City Open. She does, she goes for it off the serve, yeah, she just won the World Championships, the Warrior Princess, but she's managed to retain her title. Hi everyone, thank you to all the people who voted, thank you to my coaches for helping me in a very critical time to be ready and able to play again, I was really excited to start the season but unfortunately it didn't go as I planned but I'm happy with my results in the four tournaments I played and winning the world championship it was really big for me. I hope this long break will help me to recover at least a small part from my recovery and I'm looking forward to start the new season. I hope I can keep the same performance or even better if I can. Thank you again for voting and I hope I can see you soon. No surprise, uh, another accolade there for Nora Al-Shabini. I have to reiterate that this particular award was the closest voting we've ever seen. No surprise with the competition at the, high end, uh, at the higher end of the women's tour there. But Al-Shabini battling through terrible injury uh, situations this season. She came back from nowhere to win her fourth World Championship title at the Grand Ole Age of 24, reaching four major finals and winning two of them for the 2019-20 season. Hugely impressive indeed. Now that just leaves us with the Men's Player of the Year award. On Squash TV we have seen some hugely physical and very long and enduring battles, some exciting scenarios, some controversial scenarios, all adding to the drama of the game, which is exactly what we want. And now we are down to that very last one. You guys have spoken. The winner is...
straight. So Mohamed El Shabagi takes it and wins the Tournament of Champions. Hey guys, uh, I hope everyone is well. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, everyone who voted for me and had faith in me, you know, uh, to be awarded the best player of this season. Uh, uh, it's an honor for me uh, to have such an achievement another time. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it came after a lot of hard work last year and uh, to be able to go back to the top and achieve that it wasn't, it was far from easy. So. Um, so yeah, so I'd like to uh, take this opportunity to thank everyone and um, uh, it was a shame obviously that the season ended a bit early last year but um, hopefully uh, we can come back soon and I know the PSC have been working really hard to try and get us back as soon as we can as soon as the, like we, we can and uh, but uh, I know that they have been putting the player safety first which is the right thing to do. Uh, I would also like to congratulate each of the players who has been nominated men and women because uh, uh, each one of us go through challenges go through challenges challenges during during the season and uh, to be able to be uh, just nominated for an award like that is an achievement itself so i'd like to congratulate each one of them um, i would also like to uh, to uh, thank my team uh, rodney martin who has been such a great addition to my team last year you know he has done such a great job with me and uh, taught me a lot of different things and uh, Obviously, Adrian Sift, who has been with me for the past 10 years now, and uh, uh, I would also uh, thank, need to, would like to thank my family, you know, without them I wouldn't have been uh, here today achieving all these things, uh, you know, I remember uh, my mom and my dad, you know, have done so much for me, you know, my dad spent everything, uh, all, uh, most of his money, if not all his money, you know, as a kid in my training, and to, to get every bit of help I can get to just uh, learn even just a little bit. Uh, and my mom never ever missed a training session and she always been there for me whenever I needed her and uh, so I'd really, really like to thank both of them for everything they have done for me and um, obviously my sponsors, um, they, they're not just my sponsors, they're my family, uh, the way they've supported me over the years, they've been there for me, you know, Techni Fiber, Channel Buzz, uh, Row and Red Bull, you know, the, they're, they're, they're like family to me and, uh, yeah, and uh, I know uh, hopefully we'll have more success together for the next few years. It was another mammoth season for the beast of Alexandria, Mohamed El Shabagi, battling back once again to get that world number one spot and win major, major titles, producing so much drama. He always comes up in all these top 10 performances that I'm putting in, whether he's winning or losing. I mean, he usually is the one to watch, particularly in this modern time. Uh, thoroughly deserved this award for this 2019 season. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for the 2019-20 PSA Awards. It's been a real pleasure hosting these and fantastic for you guys uh, that have been voting over the last few weeks and tuning in to watch these. Congratulations to all the players and people involved with the game that have won this year's awards. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. I'm wearing my suit now, obviously. Am I wearing trousers? Have I got shorts on or something else? That's for you to decide. But uh, everyone keep safe. Looking forward to getting back on the PSA World Tour. See you on Squash TV soon.